Hi guys, it's Rudy the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 288 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume that you already did it, let's just dive right in. Losses X under an insurance policy is exponentially distributed with mean 10. For each loss, the claim payment Y, claim this is claim payment, is equal to the amount of loss in excess of a deductible for D is greater than 0. Okay, so there's a deductible D. Calculate the variance of Y. Okay, okay, so this one has a deductible of y. So what would be the variance? Well, the variance, again, this is our beloved formula. Variance of y is equal to um, expected value of y, or the second moment minus expected value of y, the whole thing is squared. Okay, as always, I'm going to start with the easier one. So that expected value of y, this is equal to integrating from d to infinity, right? Yeah, yeah. And the insurance company's weight pays whatever is over the amount of deductibles. So like, for example, if this is zero, and this is like infinity, and this is deductible, the company pays zero dollars from zero to d, and then they pay x minus d. So the loss minus d will be equal to y. And this is integrated exponentially distributed with the mean 10. So this is exponentially distributed oop, 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 1 over lambda e to the negative 1 over 10 or t. Or actually, I don't know why I keep using random variables. Like, ac not random variables, like, actually, like, random variables. <laughs> okay. So this is equal to my 1 minus e to the negative x over t integrating dx. Alrighty, alrighty, we got this, we got this. So this is equal to, I mean, I have two ways I can take this. I can do the integration by parts, which is, I think, what I'm going to do. So this is equal to x minus d, negative 1 over 10. Oh, no, no, it'll just be e to the negative x over 10 minus 10 times, yeah, 10 times e to the negative x over 10. Agreed, agreed. Okay. Integrating from zero, d to infinity. So if I plug in infinity here, negative infinity is just zero, zero minus zero, zero minus zero minus d minus d is zero, minus minus. So this makes it a positive 10 e to the negative d over 10. So that's our expected value. So what would it be for second moment? Well, instead of just one, we have two in the middle and then we'll just do the same thing dx okay I don't really like doing the second moment but we got this I believe in us <laughs> I said I believe in us okay so then it's gonna be equal to x minus d squared over 10 oh no times e to the negative x over 10 this is minus minus x minus d times 10 e to the negative x over 10 minus 100 100 e to the negative x over 10 yeah looks about right integrated from d to infinity so then again it goes 0 0 0 0 0 0, 0 plus 0 plus 0 right because d minus d is 0 plus 100 e to the negative d over 10. Okay, so then our variance is just putting those two together. We have 100 e to the negative d over 10 minus 10 e to the negative d over 10, this whole thing squared. Alrighty, alrighty, so that's 100 e to the negative d over 10 minus, ooh baby, 100 e to the negative d yeah, d squared over 100? Mm, something doesn't seem right. Well, I think it would just be 2d, right? 2d over 100. 100 minus e to the negative 2d over 100. Okay, seems about right, about right now. So then this is equal to 100. Factor that out, e to the negative d over 10 minus e to the negative 
D over 50. Wait, how did this go from... Yeah, I'm stupid. Which is our answer... D. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!